Captain Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright. So, first of all, can we uh, change some mount sensitivity here? Because that was pretty horrid. Oh, and that's that's way too. I don't know. I seem to have lots of issues with Unreal Engine and mouse sensitivity. I don't know why. All right, that's a bit better. All right, so. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just turn it into a meme errand. Redux will fix that. What is it with all these traps? Jeez. I should stay on the train track. Okay, so. What is it I'm trying to do here? Just, just taking a casual stroll in the woods. As you do, looking for stuff. Okay, had to go around because the track was blocked anyway. So, pretty nice looking game. Alright, bridge is closed. Do not enter. Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. You can warn me about that. Warn me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Okay. It's quite nice looking. I kind of get the, like, infra vibe. <laughs> uh, yeah, we like the environment, the bridges, the kind of stuff. Oh, there is a sprint key. There be blood on this train thing. All 
All right, so I guess I have to find a way to power this possibly. Ah, inspect, there we go. Blood, animal, human, accident, murder. Need to find the crank. So let's buy some water. Please don't tell me like that's the bridge. You actually Whew. I was going to say, if that's the bridge, that'd be like, geez, that's like the whole game right there. Three hours go, f it's, it's a three hour crank hunt. So that's the bridge down there. So I need to get down to here, I would say, right? That seems logical. Let's go down here. That is a path I cannot go down. Um... Rope. All right, so I'm getting the impression somebody was tied down on a track here. I think this person was so lucky. Severed legs. Dried grass. So there's a fire here, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing that there was So I'm guessing that the train was used to kill somebody, run over somebody. Somebody escaped, but there was also a fire. Something was burned. I guess. Follow the trail of blood. Oh, nope. So it looks like they, they crawled away. Alright, so I'm guessing here then I need to find out more before I can find out actually what happened to this guy here. I guess. There's my crank.
All right. All right. I think I kind of did work that out a minute ago when I uh, got that one for the train car. But thanks, anyway, Aaron. Right, so I still don't know enough about him. Alright, so let's go and use the crank on the train. That way it looks like it's blocked off. Yeah, okay. Just checking. All right, well, I'm guessing not nothing much is going to happen going forward, so. I wonder if I need to, like, put this in, like, the right position, perhaps. So I'm thinking maybe for start we'll put this over like the Don't know about the rope maybe. Maybe I just need to take it back all the way to where that was yeah, okay. Let's go and put it just all the way where that burnt stuff is, if we can. Get it in the right position, that is. We already saw this though, didn't we? I don't think this is any different to what we saw before. I think I probably need to bring it back a touch more. I have to recrank it. I guess I do. Okay. All right, so. I'll say I'm finding it a little bit difficult just to quite get everything lined up here. Maybe I'm don't know. Maybe I'm... Oh, I'd seem to put it in a specific position, so maybe I'm in the right place now. Uh... Maybe try... The Body now. Okay. Just 
Still missing something. Maybe I need to bring it here first. Let's go check back down here. So it's quite a nice looking environment. Gone too far. Okay. Music is creepy. Jeez. Oh, hello. So there's a rock by the train cart. Okay. So the rock was used to smash him over the head. Where was he smashed over the head though? Do I take the rock back to here I guess? Okay.
Well, if somebody's getting bashed over the head with a rock, it's. <laughs> I think I'm pretty prepared for some uh, some gruesome tales. That's for sure. All right, I'm meant to be walking. Oh, jeez. Okay. So he's got the crank. So he's he's hitting with the, around the head with the crank at the end just to sort of finish him off. It seems this guy. So at this point, okay, he's kind of like, what's happened? And I don't know. He's like, I want to put him out of his misery, maybe. Um. Okay, so he's there. So who was tied on the tracks then? The boy was tied on the tracks. Okay, so the boy was tied on the tracks. Did he tie him up on the tracks? Uh. I guess I went too far. Okay. It's quite interesting, sort of like uncovering piece by piece. You think, you, you know, you start to see something, you think you know what's happened, and then... Clearly not. Alright, didn't hold it for long enough, sorry. My bad. So what's he doing here though? He tied him on the tracks, or is he untying him? How did he lose his legs, I wonder? Okay. So this is one. Okay, so we've got to put it in order. Okay, I've got this. So, so he's got the rock in his hand, so it has to be before, after that one. Well, this has got to be last, right? And then this one. So I'm guessing this would be four. This would be three. Alright, so I'm guessing that's wrong then. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. Alright, so then I'm guessing that's going to be four, that's going to be three. Listen to me. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now, I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> 
left. And he stumbles over to here. Yeah, he stumbles to here. The train comes and cuts his legs off. Ow. And then he finishes him off with a crank. Travis, close your eyes. Wow. I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Alrighty then. The had turned Ethan's family against him. The grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Okay. So... Is there anything over in this direction, or is it just... Oh, hello. Does it feel like I'm chasing Daft Punk through the frickin' the woods here? It reminds me of the guy from the Swapper, actually. Holy shoot! The f what? Um. Wow. Um. <laughs> Are we traveling through a black hole or something? Oh my goodness. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, there's loads of them.
Where are they all heading? Extraterrestrial containment capsule. Okay. Oh, hello. Fangs. The beast had fangs but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would something go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood, rose up on its legs, and went to the place where the fire was still burning. Uh, as the orange light died, another took its place. This one was a blue, was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs with the light and vanished. Moments later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. I saw what we were just doing. Uh, when the light stopped, it did... Did. So, in a clearing of trees, the beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned towards the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and the roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realised it would never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. <laughs> okay, so that was like a visualization of his story, I guess. Okay, yep. Yeah. Science fiction, Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Somebody's calling him a gay lord. It's harsh, but uh, yeah. So yeah, so it's a visualization of of basically his story there. He was obviously into science fiction and stuff. All right. Um. I don't know if there was anything else to find out in the woods there. I don't know. Let's carry on this way, though. It's like some sort of old train station. A building here. No trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become and then remain the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. So way down there, I wonder? No, it seems like it can't go down there. Okay. It's like these areas where you think you can probably find something. 
And then there's nothing. So I hate using the shift key. Makes my little finger hurt. True story. Alright, I guess I'm going to go that way, but... Is there anything else down here? Along the train tracks? I mean, jeez. It's pretty nice looking. These train tracks seem to go on and on and on. I don't know whether or not it's best uh maybe they come to an end here it kind of feels a lot like it as well because we're like running around just wandering around these places which are kind of like dilapidated Alright, well, I think we're going to go across the bridge. I don't really think there's anything else. The, like I said, just the environment design makes it look like there's more than there actually is. Alright, so, let's go over the bridge. Ugh, I have to change finger. <laughs> Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That was a little weird. I was just like reloading something. Looks looks like that. Okay, yeah, that looks a, a lot nicer, doesn't it? Man, this just keeps going on and on and on, doesn't it? They sound like freaking the witness sound effects. Jeez. Alright, what we got here? That looks like it's somewhere we're probably going to come later on. Yeah, I'm sure the witness was Unreal Engine anyway, so it's probably why it's got similar 
kind of sound effects and stuff. Yeah, it's got a very sad vibe to it, that's for sure. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. I guess more just sort of stay on the path, so you get lost. Yeah. I like going through the woods, man. <laughs> I think I've just done a big circle there, haven't I? I think basically it's it's just brought me back to here, so I kind of get the the feeling that although it's it's open world, it it pretty much leads you into the direction of specific places. Well, this place doesn't look creepy, does it? Jeez, can't see a thing. All right, so. I guess I find a way to repair the lamp and then I can see what's down there. Possibly. Forgive me, Father, but I have sinned. Please don't tell me we've got to go in one of these mausoleums. Yep. So... Okay, I seem to now think Did they try and put somebody down here and then block him in or block them in? I'm guessing it's gonna be Ethan. Um I know there was an inspect thing behind me by the way. Which way are the footprints going? They're going this way? Hard to kind of tell. What 
Where's all that over there? Can I get down there? People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. A beautiful woman sat by a river, a witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear, and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy some, some many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Okay, not really. I really think I understand that one. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. And I know I got a snake's tongue. You're a little guy, my precious bean. You just got to pull my head out of the clouds, okay? So... Is he writing about his mother because his mother was mean to him? Possibly. Possibly. All right, next question. Which way did they come from? I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to make of that, if I'm honest. I feel he's written about his mother, but... I don't know. All right, so I gotta find some glass. Can I go down here or do I need the torch first? Nope. 
Okay. So I'm looking for a dead crow. Which is... Okay, I think I know where that is. So let's go... Over here. And that would be... Here it is. Well, it's not a dead crow. It's just a, a, cr a stone crow, I guess. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, I think we know what the cause of death is. Jeez. Maybe not. Okay, so I need to obviously uncover more clues first. So, what am I missing? Okay, so somebody is killing crows with a dagger. Have I uncovered everything now? Yes, okay. Okay. So they're luring him down there for some reason. What's wrong with his face? So yeah, what happened to his face, I wonder? Right, so nothing happened there. Okay. I 
Okay, that's got to be three. Has he already been stabbed in the back? Can't tell, actually. That must be last, then. That one must be last. Alright, so... Why would he be going down there, though? So I think he has like a bit of a wound there. He doesn't there, though. Okay. That's got to be second, right? Our boy. You know he's harmless. You know this is wrong. Chad, finish those bricks before he wakes up. Also, Ethan stabbed him in the eye. So he runs away, and that's why they're looking for him in the woods. The then I guess. Where's Ethan? The one who sleeps must not sleep. Your uncle Chad is dead. Good. Ethan. our boy. Dad, I need to get into the mine. What? Mine? My, my key. Uh, I, I don't have it. I guess I'll use the tunnel near the gate. Just, just keep mom away from me, all right? She's sick. You're all sick. All right, so... Sleeper must not sleep. Ethan disturbed something. Whatever it was, it got out into the air and 
and into the minds of his family. Okay, so... What I'm getting from this, then, is Ethan seems like he could be the only sane one of, like, the group. Although, to be fair, that, I don't know if that was his mum. I may have missed that. I might need to go back and, and double check that. But um, whoever that was, she seemed normal for a start. Until she killed, um, was it Dale? Again, short-term memory. But yeah, she seemed relatively normal until that point. And then, I don't know, she just sort of flipped a little bit. Chad, sorry, yeah. My, you know what my memory's like. Short-term memory. Terrible. But yeah, something happened between... Her doing that. Because, um, yeah, she was a totally different person at the end there than what she was earlier on in the scene. Right, so actually, he just said something, didn't he? He just said. He said about another tunnel. He didn't have the key, so he needs to find. A there was another. There was a tunnel. What well, do I think the sleeper is? Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm really not sure. What past it? Newsflash, there is a hell of a lot of freaking rocks around here. Rock is obvious. I'll find it, don't worry. He says.
Aha! Success! I wouldn't exactly call that an obvious rock, though. Jeez. find down the mine and what are they doing down the mine it's a coal mine secret evil evil person layers the secret evil person's layer I, I, I don't know so I'm gonna take this cage down though Going all the way down. So why was the mine locked? Another, another question. Yeah, it's going nothing in that direction. Should really look around though because there's um I know I say it's a dead end. Might be one of those little hidden story things. Piece of paper thingy majiggy. Do rewatsy thingy majiggy. Okay. I honestly thought though that I would. Oh, hello. One of the pickaxes missing. I honestly thought though back at the. I'll tell you in a minute. How is that? Oh. It's in, a, in the side of a thing somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, I honestly thought that I'd, in that church I would have to repair that lantern. I thought I would repair the lantern. And... Um, Hmm. Alright, so this is obviously the person that we're going to try and work out next. Oh yeah, I, I keep getting distracted from my train of thought. Um, I honestly thought we would use the um, the lamp to see something else in that church, but I guess not. Where is the pickaxe? Can I see it now? I've turned this on. Guess not, but maybe moving it. It's got to be here somewhere. Maybe moving it through the tunnels, though, I can... Um oh, I'm not going to move it this way, am I? Let's be honest. 
Unless I can bash the rocks out of the way, maybe. Could be a possibility. Now this thing is straight out of freaking infra. Jeez. Let's go back the other way, and then I should be able to pick up on the pickaxe, wherever that may be. Alright, so... Why can I not go? Did I go too far forward or? All right, I'll go back in a minute. Wow, this goes deep. It's me. Oh, that looked like a face as I was coming down, like a stone Mayan face or something. If this warning stands, walk no further. If this warning stands out, stands our ritual failed. This warning stands, the sea thing gate remains sealed. Uh Okay. He is not dead, but eternal life. The god of strange aeons cannot die. We open the gate, the gate of old, and guardian's eyes have long grown cold. The name of our god, our truth, our key, he is that which is, which should not be. What's them weird letters, man? B and M? My goodness. What on earth is that? Oh my good. See on a star. What's underneath him though? It's like a Oh 
Oh my goodness. Do I have to get all the same symbols? Is that the idea? Oh, no, he's still on that one. Um, so that's the star one. Is that what he's still on? Not sure that's the right symbol. But I don't know what else it could be. Uh, I'm confused. And I can't do anything else. Oh. Thanks, Aaron. Well, that's definitely the right one. Oh, wait a second. I'm guessing... All right. So, I gotta find the other bodies, right? to these people. They look like they're mutated. They look like something straight out of freaking Resident Evil, man. The fuck? Woo! <laughs> uh, okay. Does that reset everything? Or what? Is everything reset now?
Oh shit. What the hell? Oh. I don't like this no more, mommy. I want to go home. All right, so I gotta throw in three more. I don't like this. Problem is, I don't even know where I've been anymore.
The thing is, unless the game's going to be an absolute dick about it, I really have to find one more. Because um, once I have five, I can brute force the sixth, right? Do triangle and oh, there's two triangles. Okay. Did you find all six, Aaron, or can you brute force it after five? Just so I know. Really don't want to have to spend any more time down here than I want to, have to, need to. Uh, he is I think it's that one What the actual... This game just got weird. The Curse of the Sea thing. The Enocean Necronomicon. The iron ore miners had finally found it, but not all of them wanted to perform its ritual and disturb and disturb summon the sea thing Gani Ganai one miner realized the ritual would unleash Ganai's flood upon this world and so the miner had no choice but to stab the others with the blades with the blades shards of magic elt down Ganai in response cursed the miner who now wanders the mine doomed to prevent others from summoning the sea thing and flooding the world forever oh dear have I just made a terrible mistake? I told you to stay out. God damn it. Look, it's dangerous in here. I'll read your story later. Okay? And, um... Oh, no. Again, it's another one of his stories. Alright? Okay. Now, you go. Get back home.
Dale, get your shit out of our basement. Bring it to the goddamn dump. I am so sick of stepping on your lifetime of failure on my way on my way to the wash machine. I'm not kidding. Either move it or I'll burn it. Dear Mr. Carter, U.S. Patent and Trademark Office have received your January 23rd, 1973 letter requested further explanation as to why your recently submitted patent was rejected by the office. As we explained in our previous letter, the patent was rejected for infringing upon a previously existing patent. We have a record... We have on record from you more than four dozen request patents submitted in the last 16 months. None has been successful and all have been met with challenges by you. Mr. Carter, we would like to consider this matter and future matters administratively closed. Oh dear. That's saying that you can't now submit any more patents? Hmm. Interesting. Obviously, we can't go back that way. So, uh, Ethan had a freaking pretty good, pretty good, like, story writing ability. I think Ethan Carter is demon arisen confirmed. <laughs> Right, so let's try and um, okay. Because I'm lazy, we'll. Uh, We'll take the tram back. I guess it would have been so much quicker to uh, have just walk back, but... can I say today I'm feeling lazy okay so now can I did I miss a load of stuff no okay interesting So we have four events, it seems. So that's, he's taking a pickaxe. So they're coming to the mine. He's walked over there maybe to take a pickaxe. But he hasn't got the pickaxe in there. Okay, so we walk into the mine. She stands in there. He sends her down. Okay. So this is three, two, four. And then this one has to be five. I mean, he probably ran. Well, why wouldn't he? Why would he be here? Oh, shit. That was probably a raccoon. No. No, I don't think it was. He's just a kid. He didn't disturb anything. He just found a room in an old house. That's it! Oh boy, is the price. I'm going up there. The sleeper must not sleep. He can't get away. It's the sleeper's time. He thought, okay, she thought she was going up. Listen to yourself. 
Oh, no ish. I see clearly. Sleepy breeds inside me. You're sick. We all are. Jail. Okay, send her down. What are you doing? Smashes the lock off so she can't get out. What happened to Ethan then? Where did he go? Where's Mom? I thought I heard her voice. She's um, still looking for you. You need to leave. Go through there. Through that water? It kind of looks like it's boiling. No, no, it, it's just a simple chemical reaction. It's not actually boiling. I'll deal with your brothers. Go now. Wow. So. Not only did he wife. she was no longer who she once was, neither was he. Something was using all this pain and death. Something was becoming stronger. So not only did he kill his wife, he he looks like he may be killing Ethan's brother as well. Wow. All right, so we'll go through here. So the water's not looking too uh, great in this section, is it? It's just my computer. I could feel two kinds of darkness here in Red Creek Valley. The first you walked into, and with any luck, walked out of. But the other darkness was deeper, stickier, uh, unknowable. And it wanted me to leave. All right. Yeah, with the dam and stuff, definitely. The axe is on a floor somewhere. 
by a blood stain and a rug and a body. Is that Ethan's dad? I think it could be. All right. Broken door. So maybe the um, the sleepers possibly controlling somebody, and somebody's coming in here like trying to kill. Okay, so that's in an outbuilding somewhere. It's like some sort of lift, perhaps. Okay, so we'll take the axe back. Where is that outbuilding? Uh, I did like Infra, yeah. I think I I missed a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, I got all the endings, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, I did miss... It's all the way up there. Ah, here we are. Um, yeah, I didn't get all the, the photos and things, but I did manage to get all of the endings. Uh, but I don't think it's something I would go back and play just for this, like, sheer length of the game. It was such a long game. But no, it was really good. Um, I believe there's a spin-off of it as well, Team Spend posted a while ago. Um, like an RPG kind of spin-off of it. Oh, I'm all the way back here. All the way back here. Okay. We've gone full loop. Alright, so that, is that, that's the way to the next area then. Okay. Could have told me a bit earlier, Aaron. All right, just give me uh, two seconds. I am just going to go to the little boy's room. I will be right back. And I'm back. All right, sorry about that. Sound effects so creepy.
So I'm guessing there's some way to get into that other building over there as well, which is probably where Ethan's story is. Okay. Because he's trying to barricade himself in. So I'm guessing that'll be last. It's him trying to barricade himself in. He's already attacking him at this point. Alright, so this has got to be first, right? But then by this point, he's over overruled him. He's holding his face here. I wonder if... I mean... To me, at the minute, it seems like it's going to run in order, but... It would almost seem too obvious. So the sleep is... I don't want to hurt you. You think scissors are going to save you? Yes. Oh man, he took his own life. Didn't have to be this way. He could have helped the sleeper. Helped us. But mom's right. You're a coward. And you'll be meeting Ethan again soon. So the sleeper is some sort of demonic entity then that's taking over people and controlling them it seems Like I said there as well, I feel like I've missed a key or something to get into that other room, that other building. Oh, it's open now.
Man, this is... I see what you mean about freaking infra, man. This is like the, high, the, the dams and the hydroelectric stations. This is crazy. Possibly, yeah. Possibly. Sleeper is feeding on them. Their hate, their distrust. Ethan's father figured suicide wouldn't feed it, but it did. I could feel it sitting somewhere out there, fat as a bullfrog, digesting. Alright, well. Ah, there is something else down there. So look, my hunch was right. What did that do? Stop the electricity though, so... Oh, maybe... Maybe it means I can get across here, perhaps? What did turning that do? Confused. Maybe it just kills all the power in the area or something? Oh, I can get across here. Maybe I didn't miss anything. I could feel him. A pinprick of light in the darkness. He would know me. He would know why I'd come. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at this. This is this is something. This is really nice looking. Like it happened too long ago. Whatever happened. Because that's still burning. So maybe this is the place that um, Ethan wanted to burn down. Perhaps. So what's that over there? It's probably just daylight through the trees, it's nothing. Spell chorus, then. Oh, Corvus. My bad. What the hell? Is that Ethan? Trying to open the door. Hmm. So they bring the gas in. Actually, I 
I found Vanderbilt's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone had to. All right. Maybe swap these two around then. Ethan, I fought it off. It's okay. Grandpa, get away from me. Your grandmother Gail is protecting me from it. Ethan, I can help you. I found Vanderbilt's diary. He said for the sleeper to wake up, someone has to suffer. Look. When I found that room, I didn't wake him up. He's trying to wake up now. Vandergriff kept his victims alive. He made them suffer. That's what the sleeper wants. We need to get in that room. I can squeeze through. to be this way the sleeper must not wake burning the room won't matter Ethan the sleepers inside us now we all have to die even you oh wow even me So that's not Ethan. I thought it was Ethan, but clearly not. He's still asleep? What? He's still alive? How long has he been here? as much as it was mine and it wasn't finished not yet oh so this is telling me all of his other stories right So I need to go and fact and find these other ones then. The day this fight was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, and Gramps was quiet. You 
need to talk to your son. He was poking around in the old Vandegrift house again. He said he found some secret room. Hmm. Yeah, really? Okay, I... What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room. I walked into it. That's it. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. He's been disturbed by Stanford. He must be punished. Okay. You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. So it seems like Dale was the only one that didn't get taken over by the sleeper. Poppy, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. Okay. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Hmm. Am I nothing to find here then? Seems like additional story. Yeah, I know. I know. Not sure what I need to do now, though. The other house? Oh, that one. Okay. It's nice. It's um, it's a nice sort of um, it's a walking simulator, but um, it is nice, definitely. Got nice, interesting. I mean, I'm quite interested to see how the story is actually going to pan out. Uh, I invoke the boneless one, the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he who is feared by the winds. Hear me, great Mister Fokalor, Fokalor. I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment. Seal the path with falsity and guile, guile 
and permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Aglon Tetragram. Stimulation. Oh my goodness, I can't even read that. Some sort of prayer. Oh, we're back in the house. What? I guess that was wrong. Uh, I'm confused. Okay, do I need to? I guess I probably need to read the letter again then. To start it again. Is this like a maze then, or? So I read this, say the magic words, and that starts this spell, okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, I gotta start all over again. Man, get one wrong, gotta start all over again. That's harsh. So at least we're gonna get to pick from three. Okay. Uh. 
That's this room, isn't it? Yeah. Not that one. Oh. Oh my goodness. What the hell? Is this the secret room? My god. It's horrifying. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people in the village grew angry and burned the magician's house. But the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No. What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. Freaking everyone out. I feel sorry for him. Blaze re reveals moonshine operation. Uh, Santa Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off the old Oregon Road. According to the authorities, the still compromise of propane stove, four gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash based on the size of the steel. Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Sheffel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered half a gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. So basically he's created that. He's found this. He's found this room. And then he's like concocted that story about it being a magician. Because basically there's been a fire. And then this survived. So. It's quite. Um, it's quite the imagination. Does Ethan. Quite the imagination. All right, so now, am I right? Did I miss? Did I miss something where all them traps were? At right at the beginning. Is that where the other one is? If so, rather than go in there, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the elevator down, which is handily right here for me. And then we can use like the quick warp kind of thing that we did to get to there, to get to the last one. Sorry. Sorry. I'm guessing there is no quick travel back to the end room. We 
which is unfortunate. But yeah, I can only think that it's like the bear trap thing. The traps that were like set out initially. When we first, um, before we came across the, the rail car. Not too bad when you know where you're going. I suppose we're taking some more of this beautiful scenery as well. Yep. It's the traps. You'll come all the way back again. So revealing the location of like the next trap. We never did go over here though, did we? Where's this last one? That would be the last one. Nope. There's still one more somewhere. Oh, there it is. Wasn't expecting it. it. Made me jump a little bit. Oh, 
Wow, yeah, I was just about to say, are these all like skulls? It kind of reminded me of the scene from Terminator 2 where the big freaking um, Skynet thing is just like going along. It might be the first turn actually. And it's just, like crushing over the skull heads. The skull heads, the skulls. Um, an old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to stop, step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search for the forest for his treasure and not drink his sap. One cool full night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Grant, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. One dead in house fire. Fire damaged historic home in Red Creek Valley. Wednesday morning, according to officers the fire department, a family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out in the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandergriff by the Ogden Lake in the Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead. At the scene, the remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edward, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 1.22am and remained at the scene until around 5am Wednesday. They returned to the property hours later to extinguish hot spots which had rekindled. Assistant at the initial fire was the Ashland Township Volunteer Fire Department. Masonville Emergency Medical Services was on standby at the scene. So, I'm guessing that's the fire then. After heated public hour, no answers for Vandergriff's heirs. Members of Vandergriff family again gathered in Bayfield County Courthouse to debate the fate of the Vandergriff fortune, which has been remaining in this since 61. The family Patriarch Albert died in a mine accident and the after effects of which nearly destroyed sorry oh, it really makes me yawn um, Vandegrift industrials and severely damaged the local economy James Vandegrift 38 of Chicago argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that the Vandegrift family members had have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandegrift estate as stipulated in the elder Vandegrift's will the recent fire in the in which the Vandegrift home was damaged, he said, only underlying the family's concerns. Since 1667, uh, the Carter family has lived upon the form of Vandegrift estate as temporary caretakers. So, wait a minute. The... Um... <laughs> so, the... The moonshine thing... Right, the moonshine thing was their house then. And so Ethan was poking around in their house. It's like age walk back, isn't it? Um, so yeah, Ethan was poking around in their house and stumbled across the secret thing. But I guess that's it was the fire in their house which they were making moonshine and it was that that was uncovered later on right Yeah, it's a bit rubbish that you have to walk all the way back. So this what this this whole area here must have happened before the final room, right? All right, got to go around. Ech. Oh, 
not to uh, not to point fingers, Aaron, but this is like pretty crucial information that I could have, you know, done with beforehand. No biggie. It's all good. I wonder if it's possible even to, um, is it possible even to carry on without finding all like the extra stories? I wonder. It's not, okay, you gotta find everything. Fair enough. Yeah, I know, I know they're, they're not extra. Looking back, I suppose it makes sense because... Oh. Don't you start doing that stream. I see you. What are you doing that for? Um, yeah, it kind of makes sense because... Um, thinking back now, I didn't actually do anything from the uh, traps, even though they appeared. So, yeah, makes total sense. And one of these, one of these, like, it's almost like one of these secret areas, or one of these extra stories on top of, like, the main story. So. Don't want to have to press it twice, right? I had to press it twice last time as well. Kind of weird. Scenery simulator. Let's head back to the house then. Let's see what's next, because um, I'm quite intrigued as to how much more there is to do here, because they've still got um, still got four achievements. Well, all I have to say, Aaron, is with the right tools, anything is possible. Anything is possible. That's why I think with Infra, though, they did such a good job with Infra, considering it's um, made in Source. Right, we are back at the house, finally. And something interesting I noticed before is, when I look here, I can close it up again. Why would I want to close it up?
Christ, Ethan. You're in here again? They missed dinner. Mom and Dad are pissed. They've been looking all over the place. Get out of here, Travis. Leave me alone. <laughs> hey, Ma! He's in here! Honey, be careful with that lamp. Dale, what the hell's wrong with your kid? Painting on walls, writing these stories. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Ethan! For God's sake, you missed dinner! I'm sorry. I've been working on a story all day. How long have I been out here? The Adventures of Paul Prospero, Supernatural Detective. Where do you get this stuff? Pop, would you get Travis out of here, please? He draws pictures on walls. What the hell is that? Chad, shut up. You got yourself a faggot for a son, Dale. Travis, let's go. Come on. Faggot! Ethan, you're a fucking faggot! Travis, stop it! Wow. Oh, shit! Shit! Everyone! Whoa! Get out! Get out! The smoke is toxic! Jesus. Oh, God! What do we do? What do we do? So wait a minute. Even the other stuff was a story as well? Because I, I saw the things on the walls, like the, the drawings on the walls, which were like the things that had popped out when he turned the table in the previous thing. I wrote about you, but I don't know if I created you. Hmm. Maybe. I can't go yet. I have to finish my story about you. I wrote stories about everyone. I know you did. But my story's done. And it's a fine story. I can... let go? You can let go. What happens then? Another story, kid. What else? So, it was actually his parents that accidentally killed him? Wow. Didn't see that coming. So the whole mind thing and everything... Everything we've seen up to this point is a story. I still don't really under get like the sleeper thing though, or what? I suppose it's just like a, an entity in, in the in his story, right? But he said, like, he'd written stories about everybody. So. He made all the characters on how he liked them and how he acted towards them. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite weird though because like we're playing one of his characters we're playing one of his characters who is which is actually a story it's uh, man it's weird I, I just yeah I <laughs> get my head around it it's crazy
Same play time as you. I'm intrigued though, because there's still I still have three three achievements left, so maybe we go back though and um is this is there another story to find? Because the um on the map the there's a picture of a guy with a hat appeared, so I wonder if we can go back. And there's a, a, an extra story to find somewhere. But yeah, no, really cool game. I, I like it. Um, quite a, a big twist there as well at the end. Um, as, as I said all the way through, visually, it's um, visually an amazing game, visually. Uh, hold on, let me turn on... This. There we go. All right, let's take a look at achievements as the credits roll. Uh, just three hidden achievements, so. Unfinished story, the tunnel, and home. So yeah, I'll um, chance are I'll probably go back for them afterwards. Oh, wait, there were unfinished story. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if you can actually... I wonder if it's possible almost to... I wonder if unfinished story you kind of um, like miss bits out. Let's have a look. Uh, all right. Well, I don't want that really. I don't want a video guide. All right, let me grab this link. Go to main menu, continue to reach the final area and a fast travel map. From here, travel to traps and skulls and walk to the area where the rocks place you in depression. Turn left, the rubble, travel uphill, which hills are clearing and find a pine cone, sort of a stone rock. Take the pine cone which turns into a grenade, turn back, make your way down the hill, going left, rejoin the track. Stone bridge, look for a third alcove in the right. Oh my goodness. Let's open this up in a freaking thing and let's see what we can do, shall we? <laughs> this looks crazy. Alright, so first things first. Continue game. Go to the main menu and go to traps and skulls. Continue to reach the final area and a fast travel map. From here, travel to traps and skulls. Wait, well, let me fast travel. So I have to go all the way back. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, okay, well. I don't particularly want to walk all the way back, so... <sighs> yeah, probably I will um, take a look at this at a later time, I think. It's probably going to be the best thing. It's going to be a good place to leave there, guys. Really enjoyed this game. I'm glad I picked it up. I hope you enjoyed it too, Aaron. I think I get the impression you really did. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, yeah. We will be back soon. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, until next time.